Rahul Gandhi is most trusted aide, someone who's known in social media space as well. In fact, it's the Congress's social media chief, Divya Spandra, who stoked a massive controversy by tweeting a picture of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and comparing it to German dictator Adolf Hitler. The only hiccup is that she has tweeted a morphed or a Photoshop picture. Look closely and you will realize that in the original picture, Adolf Hitler only has his hands on the child's shoulder, unlike what has been tweeted, which shows him in an identical pose as Narendra Modi pulling the ears of a child. Now, the Karnataka unit of the BJP has demanded stern action against Divya Spandra. Right, let me take this question across to Imran, who joins us for more on the story. Imran, Divya Spandra is no stranger to controversies on social media. In the past two, her comments on Prime Minister had attracted the ire of the BJP. And now, the BJP coming out to question why a person who has no time to vote can actually sit and morph images and tweet them. Well, absolutely, Madhav. That's a BJP tweet directly attacking Divya Spandana. They've questioned that a person who does not vote, uh, what moral authority does uh, anybody has to question the Prime Minister? But in this case, what is particularly important is that she, uh, she tweeted a fake uh, photograph, Photoshop, uh, trying to uh, draw parallel similarities between the actions of Hitler and with the Prime Minister. And now many people, including people who are, uh, 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 you know, uh, the photos of Divya Spandana have questioned that being a, a, a social media in charge of a political party, she holds a responsible position. And especially in the days when the party is questioning about a fake media and fake uh, messages on social media, herself tweeting that fake Photoshop and trying to draw parallels between the Prime Minister and uh, uh, and uh, and Hitler. That has not gone down well. In fact, BGP has questioned her, uh, directly attacked her. In fact, many uh, the BGP in official handle tweeted questioning the, uh, like someone who doesn't vote, but you know, fake uh, pedals of fake, fake uh, photograph Photoshop on the social media. Well, absolutely. In fact, clearly, of course, Divya Spandana once again in the thick of controversy there, Imran. But any word coming in from Divya Spandana at this point of time, Imran? Have we been able to contact her and ask her for her version of exactly why she has tweeted a morphed picture of uh, Adolf Hitler along with that of the Prime Minister? Well, Divya Spandana directly hasn't the answer to why she uh, she uh, she uh, uh, no, tweeted that uh, uh, fake Photoshop, but the uh, Photoshop image. Uh, but uh, the Congress party is say, saying that uh, even though they, the the image was wrong, but the intent was to draw parallel, and uh, she is not wrong in drawing the parallels between the Prime Minister and Hitler. And they said that the uh, they question they said that the autocratic system is the way country is running. That was the intent about it. Though though the photograph might have might have been uh, fake or. Photoshop. Uh, very lame excuse on the part of the, uh, the, the Congress leaders there to support Divya Spandana. Well, absolutely. That is really, of course, a big question at this point of time. Will they formally come out and distance from this tweet of Divya Spandana? Will Divya Spandana herself come out and clarify like she had done last time round? In fact, she had justified the use of that image and the caption that she had put, uh, uh, of course, uh, of the Prime Minister at the statue of Sardar Patel, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. In fact, uh, uh, Imran, if I can just come to you on that. Last time round, if you recollect, when she had put across the photo of uh, the uh, statue, uh, the, uh, the Statue of Unity as far as Sardar Patel is concerned, the Prime Minister gathered over there. She had made some very uh, uh, unparliamentary remarks, if I can put it that way, of uh, referring to droppings in the picture. And then she had gone on to even defend her comments, despite the fact that a number of Congress persons themselves found that particular tweet and that po photograph in very poor taste. Well, absolutely, Madhav. In fact, uh, that tweet had, in fact, gone very viral. And uh, it was a time of uh, when the PM had inaugurated the Sadar Vallabhai Patel statue. And it was, uh, she, the, the tweet itself was in poor taste. Many of the, her own party people had criticized her, saying that uh, it was not the way to attack the Prime Minister. And it was drawing unwarranted attention uh, uh, against the Congress party. And, uh, in fact, many of the senior leaders, in, in fact, in the communications department of the Congress party had criticized uh, that, you know, this is not the way to attack the Prime Minister, and it was in a poor and bad taste, but she did, uh, she did not uh, uh, give an apology, in fact, went on to defend her actions. And in fact, uh, many uh, she took even cudgels with many of the uh, journalists who had said, uh, uh, you know, pointed that how, out to her on social media. So very thing seems to be that Divya Pandana is acting on her own, and sometimes even, uh, you know, the Congress party himself are not able to rein in on Divya Pandana, and we've okay. seen that you now, this is image. Uh, all right, okay, all right. Imran, Imran, I'll have to thank you now for joining us. I giving us all those uh, inputs over there. We'll continue to track all the developments on that story.